This is Flutter Basics from the Flutter Guys YouTube channel. Date Picker is one of the most used widgets in mobile applications and also in web apps too. In this video, we are going to create a simple working example of how to create a date picker and get the date. We first need to have a text field. When clicking a text field, the date picker dialog is open where we choose the date. So first we create a text field in the center, then we set the label using decoration and label property. We also set the filled value to true, and we set the calendar icon and the prefix icon. Then we set the border side and enabled border to none. And also set the border color and focus border to blue. And finally, we set the read only value to true so that the user cannot edit the text. Now when the user clicks on the text field, we need to show the date picker dialog. For this, we first create a future method called select date. To display the date picker, we must use the show date picker method. Now here we have to set an initial date first, which we can set to the current date using date time dot now. Then we have to set a first date, which I set to the year 2000. And finally we have to set a last date, which I set to the year 210. Now using the onTap method in the text field, we can call the select date method. Now, if we click on the text field, we will see that the date picker will be displayed. Now in order to be able to show the date we choose in the text field, we must first define a controller for the text field and then set the controller. If we click on OK we save this date inside of this new date field. And this return date time is nullable, which means if you click OK, a date time is returned. And if you click on cancel button then the null value is returned. Now it is enough to check if the date is selected and the picked value is not null, we will put the date value in the text controller using set state. Now, if we restart the app and test, we will see that what we expected is happening. And make sure hit the subscribe button to get next video.